Hello, good evening, and welcome to Lima Senior High School, where tonight at the Coach Q Classic, it's the finale of the 2022 edition as the Lima Senior Spartans play host to the Dayton Dunbar Wolverines. Here at Seawright, joined alongside Nate Garlock for all the action tonight. Nate, we got two very good, very story basketball teams tangling tonight here at the finale of the Coach Q Classic. Yeah, absolutely. You know, Dunbar has been down the last few years. Uh, this year off to a great start, 8-1 overall on an eight-game winning streak. And this is a team that can do a lot of things really well. They like to play up-tempo, they play fast, but they have a team on the other side that plays the exact yeah. same way. This is a very even matchup. You know, Lima Senior had a rough game last week, but you know, you know Coach Q, you know how he coaches, and this is going to be a great ending to a great tournament because we've had some good basketball over the last two days. That we have time to take a look quickly at the starting lineups. First for the Dunbar Wolverines, 8-1 and one out of the Dayton City League. B.J. Hatcher is a 6'3 sophomore guard, wears number zero. Anton Allen wears number one. Jaquel Hill, number two. And Twain Allen, number four. And Eric Brewer, Jr., wears number five. For the senior high Spartans, Anthony Mosley, Brandon Moore, Jaquel Cotton, Isaiah Wilson, and Amari Addy are the starters for the Spartans. Mosley wears number zero. He's inside the center circle, ready to tip off. For the Spartans, Brandon Moore wears number one, Cotton number two, Wilson number five, and Amari Addy number 11. The ball is up. The tip-off is won by the Wolverines after nearly going the other way for senior high. And Dunbar will get to work first. Hatcher drives right side, throws it off the window. Can't get the shot to drop, but is fouled, and B.J. Hatcher will step to the free throw line. Yeah, right out of the gate, you see the speed that both of these teams bring right from the opening tip. The freshman Amari Addy almost coming up with the steal. Yeah. And then Dunbar comes right back and takes it right to the rim. Both these teams are not afraid to attack in the paint. They get after it. They can shoot from behind the arc as well as the first free throw goes in. But, you know, we're 12 seconds in, and you're already getting a taste of what it's going to look like for four quarters. B.J. Hatcher shoots 50% from the least famous recipe free throw line. The second one up and good as well. In the 6'3 sophomore gets Dunbar. Off to a quick start and then a quick pass to Isaiah Wilson through the hands and an early turnover for Lima Senior. Wilson that time just took his eyes off. He saw it coming in. He was already looking at where he wanted to go and just went right through his hands. So Dunbar will go the length of the floor after this turnover by Senior High. He'll finally get it in at half court. And then a quick Dunbar turnover. So we trade turnovers after getting Two free throws on the board for Dunbar, so probably not the way either coach envisioned the start for, for both sides. And it was almost the mirror image of Lima Senior possession as Emmanuel Marshall was trying to look at the rim already and just had that one go right through his hands and out of bounds. Addy in the lane, high off the window, can't get it to go. The rebound comes down to Eric Brewer. Dunbar races back the other way to the high right point, throws to Anton Allen. Allen working against Isaiah Wilson. Ball nearly picked off as Hatcher got up in the air, changed his mind, threw it out of bounds, and it will stay with the Wolverines. It's a great switch by Mariotti that time. As, uh, his teammate had actually tried to go for that steal and overran it as he came in. Amari recognized that. Nice basketball IQ from the freshman getting his first varsity minutes and only uh, four games into his varsity career. Between now Allen inbounds into the near quarter. Nearly pocket picked as Antoine Allen throws right to the right wing. Dunbar patient this offensive possession. It's Antoine Allen, the second leading scorer in the Dayton City League, averaging 16 points per contest. Has the basketball, works right, high off the window, hits every bit of the rim and drops home. Long offensive possession that time. Addy and Cotton not on the same page as that one's going to go out of bounds and another turnover for the Spartans. They have yet, outside of a, a high off the glass miss layup by Addy, haven't been able to get any shots up when they've had the ball. Yeah, just discombobulated. And there's a young squad there for senior high as, a six, as their starting lineup, senior, senior, sophomore, sophomore, freshman. So a little bit of mixed experience and inexperience as a shot powered up by the Wolverines off the mark. Rebound comes down to Isaiah Wilson. Races the length of the floor in the win in the lane. And Isaiah Wilson gets Lima Senior on the board. It's 4-2 on the Web Insurance Agency scoreboard. Steal in the backcourt by Senior High, and Amari Addy is fouled. That's the first foul committed by Dunbar here in this first half. 
Good body control by Wilson that time going in for that layup. Almost looked like he was losing his feet from underneath him, but is able to save it and get it up for two. And then quickly, you saw the pressure from Lima Senior lead to that turnover. Brandon Moore averaging 15 points. Nope, they'll bring in Anthony Mosley. Mosley will inbound for Lima Senior. Gets it to Isaiah Wilson at the high right point. And Lima Senior will try to get things a little more set in stone here this time as Mosley slips the screen. It's Moore. Gives to Cotton the extra pass to Wilson in the corner for three. Yes, sir. Unselfish play that time. The extra pass down into the corner results in a nice three-point play. And just like that, Lima Senior, their first advantage at 5-4 as Dayton Dunbar pressured in the backcourt. Hatcher gets it across the timeline. Addy commits the foul as he nearly poked that basketball loose. You see the pace that the defensive Spartans play with. You know, a lot of times you see that and you're like, all right, there's, they're not going to be able to maintain this. Teams are going to have to slow down a little bit. They're just trying to maybe get an advantage here early. No, Lima Senior will play at this pace, play this pressure from start to finish as Amari Addy is going to pick up another foul. That is going to be his second. Anton Allen drove to the hoop, the 6'4 senior. is able to turn that corner. Addy picks up the foul, and he's probably going to spend a considerable amount of time on the bench as Allen steps to the league's famous recipe free throw line. That's part of that growing pains of when you have a young squad, you know, just the freshman trying to get out there and, and show that he, he belongs out there on that varsity floor. You can get a little overexcited, a little aggressive, reaching in there. So two quick fouls as another one of these young players up and coming for Lima Senior, Jagger Hutchins, comes into the game. Hutchins, a six foot seven sophomore, as Anton Allen, an 88% free throw shooter, makes the first to tie it up at five. Drops the second one home as well. And give the lead back to Dunbar at 6-5. Isaiah Wilson at the top of the key. Drives straight past the defender. Off the window but can't convert. Mose of the offensive board. Spins, lays it off the glass, and he'll drop it home. And that's what they're going to need Anthony Mosley to do. Lima Senior doesn't have the length that they're used to having down low. So when it comes to those rim protectors, it's going to fall on Anthony Mosley. They're going to want the 6'4 senior to show that presence that he has down there, use that experience to help be that rebounder. And Mosley draws the charge there on the opposite end of the floor. So things going right for Anthony Mosley here in the midsection of the first quarter. As Lima Senior leads 7-6, and Quincy Simpson told us before the game, hey, we got to play through Anthony Mosley. We want to get in the post. We want to make Dunbar try to defend him down low. We want to play through him. And you saw it there on that offensive possession, and then he's a difference maker on the defensive side as well. And, I mean, we've already talked about it a couple of times. You know, this team's young. Even when you go look at the bench, um, you know, they have three sophomores that sit on that varsity bench as well. And so when you have these seniors who have been around a successful program like Lima Senior, they've been here day in and day out, you need them to step up and, and do those types of things and take control of the offense. Quick foul committed by Jaquel Hill of Dunbar. Quickly, their third here in the half, as Mosley was trying to, excuse me, post up and get that entry pass as Wilson will lob to Hutchins in the lane. Turnaround jumper is good for Jagger Hutchins. Give him two points. Lima Senior extends the lead. Jagger coming in off the bench immediately gives them some offense down low. He got some good time last year as a freshman on this varsity team. They're going to need him to step up too. Dunbar in the lane. Eric Brewer, Jr. foul. And Dunbar has done a really nice job of getting to that Lee's famous recipe free throw line. It looks like Eric Brewer, Jr. is going to get a couple of cracks at it himself. So Brewer, a 65% free throw shooter, the six foot three junior forward. Steps to the line. And he converts the first. As Dunbar, perfect from the free throw line. They shoot 68%, just under 69% from the free throw line as a team. They missed that one. Rebound grabbed by Mosley. Lima Senior comes back the other way. Wilson gets a screen from Hutchins, moves left. Jump stop in the far corner for three. Off the back iron was Jaquel Cotton. Rebound pulled down by Dunbar. B.J. Hatcher races up the far sideline. Gives to Brewer. Drives the lane. Hook shot. No. Got his own offensive rebound, though. Powers up a shot high off the glass. Can't get it to go. Cotton the board. 
senior high, races back the other way. Wilson Euros in the lane, off the mark, rebound though, blocked as Brandon Moore went back up with the quick put back. Hatcher in the lane, shot altered by Hutchins, doesn't matter, goes, and B.J. Hatcher has four points, and we're tied at nine once again. Dunbar, the quick steal, back the other way from Cotton. Another Euro in the lane from Dunbar, can't get it to go as Brewer tried to drop it home, or excuse me, Antoine Allen tried to drop it home, couldn't get it to go. And then a foul committed by Dunbar on the rebound. Back and forth, you gotta love the pace that both these teams play with. You know, there's really not even a whole lot of time to kind of look away or blink, because as soon as you do, you miss something. You saw it right there, Dunbar really putting the pressure on Lima Senior, trying to see if they can't steal a couple of possessions here early. Tied at nine, 3.40 to go here in this first quarter, mostly at the top of the key for Lima Senior. Surveys the defense, bounces, stolen away. Back the other way, it's a two on one. They'll go up, mostly with the block. Spectacular play by their six foot four senior. And Spartans back the other way. Hutchins contested three, yes sir. Jagger Hutchins has spent a lot of time over the last two or three years working on that outside shot. And you saw right there why he's been able to perfect it. He's able to catch that one in rhythm, get the feet set, and hit a big one from behind the arc. Antoine Allen at the high right point. Now it's time a senior will send a band at him. Hatcher, bounce pass back to Allen, free throw line jumper. No, rebound to Mosley. Under three minutes to go here in this first quarter. 12-9, senior high to lead. Hutchins, after making the three-pointer the last time down, gets Mosley. Mosley in the lane, off the window, and good. Mosley with four here in the first quarter to grow that lead to five. Jimmy Hill the fourth, walks the ball across the timeline for Dunbar as Hatcher drives baseline, bounce pass off the mark, goes out of bounds, and that's another turnover forced by that senior high defense. This is what they do so well, turnovers and pressure, and they live off of being able to turn those turnovers into offense as they have been here in the first quarter. Metzger Financial Services timeout called by Dunbar. We'll step aside as well, 2.31 to go in the first. Spartans lead by five here on WOSN. Tonight's timeouts brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com for more information. 14-9 to nine to score. Lima Senior with the lead of the basketball as they'll bring it up the floor as Isaiah Wilson angles to the right wing. He looks, gets to Zion Jackson. Hutchins for three, missed that one off the front iron. Anton Allen, the rebound for Dunbar. Races up the far side into that far corner. Wolverines work it. Hatcher under the bucket. Errant pass, and it's a four-on-one back the other way for senior high. Moore goes straight to the bucket. Missed the rim on the shot. And a jump ball points towards Lima Senior. Good hustle to get down the floor as Moore was able to take that one in. And saw Zion Jackson running right with him, being ready to see if he was going to be that outlet when it didn't come. Ended up on the floor getting that tie up. And inbound to Hutchins. Errant dribble, but is able to scoop it back up. Brandon Moore has it at the top of the key. Crosses over, drives to the window. Wanted to hoop and a foul. Instead, he'll step to the league's famous recipe free throw line after the foul committed by Dunbar. Moore just went into attack mode that time. Went down that left side of the lane, right into the teeth of Dunbar's defense. Couldn't get it to fall, but at least got himself an opportunity from that free throw line. First foul committed by Antoine Allen. This is Brandon Moore, a 50% free throw shooter at the least famous recipe free throw line. Got it to go. Least famous recipe chicken in Wapak and Delphus is the free throw sponsor tonight. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Least famous recipe chicken, home style. Happens here. Second free throw attempt. For Moore, it's up and good. He's got his first two points of the evening. Dunbar quickly back the other way, nearly poked away by senior high into that far corner. Antoine Allen has it at the right rail, gives back on the right wing. Dunbar works it to Brewer. And foul committed by Lima Senior before Brewer put the shot up. Goes against. Antonio Fowley. And we're getting awfully close to getting in the bonus here in the first quarter. 
Nearly stolen away there by Wilson. Hatcher in the lane, hangs and hits. You can tell here early on, Lima Senior really struggling on the rebounding as Dunbar's done a great job getting themselves offensive rebounds. Second and third opportunities as most of their points have come off of those. Wilson to the window. Rebound comes down to Dunbar. Quickly back the other way, Antoine Allen drops it home. And he's got four points. So the leading score for the Wolverines heating up momentarily. Cut the lead to three. 16-13 as we approach one minute to go here in this opening quarter on the Web Insurance Agency scoreboard. Wilson to Moore on the left wing. He'll drive baseline, turn the corner. And a blocking foul committed by Dunbar. Wilson didn't, or excuse me, Moore didn't get the shot to go. But like he did a few moments ago, we'll step to the least famous recipe free throw line and shoot two. It's a great job getting baseline, getting up there. Almost was able to get a pretty good look at it, even though that contact was coming over quickly. Moore averages 15.7 points a night. Four Lima Senior spins the ball in his hand. He remains perfect from the strike. Spartans will make a few changes. Talik Wash in the ball game for Lima Senior. So we've got under a minute to go here in this first quarter. As looks like Jaquel Cotton waits to sub back in. He might be awaiting checking in for. Brandon Moore, whether he makes the free throw or not. Now we've got a technical foul assessed to Dunbar. Maybe administrative foul assessed to Dunbar. As Brandon Moore misses that one. Guessing Dunbar either doesn't have somebody down in the book or has him down as the wrong number. Yeah, not sure. Didn't get much of a, well, it's going against both teams. Because now they're going to come on the other side and let Dunbar shoot the foul. But didn't see much from the official, so not quite sure what, what they're doing here. Yeah, I, I know Kalik Wash subbed in for Lima Sr., and he is on the roster as number 14, but is wearing number 31. As the free throw attempt made by Antoine Allen gives him five points on the evening. So I'm not 100% certain what the administrative or technical foul assessed to either squad was, but nonetheless, Dunbar hits two free throws while Lima Senior only hits one. And we'll get back to game action here. It's Jimmy Hill the fourth. Inbounds for Dunbar. Wolverines work it to Antoine Allen. He'll drive baseline, creates contact, goes up and under. And Antoine Allen has eight first quarter points, and we're tied at 17. Did a great job of using the rim as a defender that time, is able to get up and under, give himself a little bit of space. Hutchins in the lane, gives to Mosley. Mosley works down low to Zion Jackson. And jump ball points towards Dunbar. Tie up there between Jackson and uh, Wolverine. And it was a good find to get Zion underneath that basket, but. Really good defense, sticking the hand in there, making sure that it was enough on the basketball to get that jump ball and not a foul. 30 seconds to go in the quarter. B.J. Hatcher dribbling, gives to Jimmy Hill. Hill, bounce pass to the top of the key. To Antoine Allen, foul committed by Wash. So that's seven on senior high, and now Dunbar will shoot one and one the rest of the half. If you want to try to loosen up that pressure that Lima Senior gets, this is about the only way to do it. Get him in foul trouble, have him go to the bench. But even that doesn't necessarily stop or change what they're doing. You know, they do. They, they believe in that bench. If you make the varsity squad here, it's not just a sit and watch. They expect when it's time to go in that you know there's not going to be much of a drop off. So you know some teams might think, well, we'll just keep coming, keep coming, get him in foul trouble. You know they feel just as confident as guys sitting on the bench right now watching as they do with guys on the floor. Free throw attempt from Antoine Allen makes them both. He's got 10 with six of them coming from the least famous recipe free throw line. And like that, Dunbar has a 19 17 lead in the waning moments of this first quarter. Kalik Wash dribbling the basketball, hands off to Jackson straight away to Hutchins. Hutchins with 10 seconds on the Web Insurance Agency scoreboard. Goes back to the basket, gives to Mosley with five. 
Mosley picks up the dribble, has to fire up a shot off the window, couldn't get it to go, and we played one quarter of basketball. Dunbar 19, Lima Senior 17, will step aside, come back with second quarter action here on WOSN. Second quarter about to get underway. Tonight's scoreboard brought to you by Web Insurance Agency, serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years. The offices in downtown Lima and Bluffton. 19-17 the score on the Web Insurance Agency scoreboard. Senior high will begin the second quarter with the basketball as Amari Addy back in after picking up two early fouls for Lima Senior. Hutchins, hands off. Jaquel Cotton, backdoor pass to Moore. Lays it off the window and Brandon Moore has his first Field goal of the evening to give him five points. And you imagine, got to imagine what Coach Q was saying in between quarters there in the huddle, wanting these guys to get a little bit more into their offensive sets, you know, not trying to you know, kind of wing it as much, and it paid off there on that first play. Three on two, back the other way is Jaquel Cotton, Euros, blocking foul, and a foul. Jaquel Cotton's first points of the evening. The sophomore holds an offer from Bowling Green. You see what they see there as he makes the hoop. And he'll step to the charity stripe where he shoots 48% of the least famous recipe free throw line. Now you see what has become a staple since Coach Q took over here. All five guys off the line, drops back. You're expected to make your free throw, so your teammates aren't there to get that rebound. They don't want to risk picking up a, a foul there on that. You know, on the rebound off of the miss. Lima Senior employing her zone now on the defensive end of the floor. Nearly a backcourt violation by the Wolverines. Jimmy Hill the fourth bounces. Gets a cross-court pass to B.J. Hatcher in the near corner. Jump shot from Dunbar. Off the mark. Rebound loose. Lands in the hands of Amari Addy. He'll race up the floor. In the lane. Drops it off the back iron. No. Rebound from Mosley. It's up and good. Mosley doing a nice job trailing the play, being there to clean that one up, put it back in for two. Spartans drop back in that zone defense with Mosley and Moore at the top of it. Dunbar content to just serve me for just a moment. Dribbling inside the center circle with six and a half to go in this opening half. And a four-point lead for the Spartans. Hill with the basketball double team. Gets out to James Gaddis. Hatcher went up for the dunk, blocked. Senior high races back the other way. Addy in the backcourt. Big pass up ahead to Hutchins, poked away by Dunbar. And they'll come back the other way. Hill on the right wing. He'll rise and fire. Left it short. Long rebound comes back out to him. Gaddis thought about the three. Now put it on the deck. And he'll walk back out near the mid court stripe with under six to go. Gaddis right of the center circle, working on Hutchins. The left elbow bounces. Wide open three for Hatcher. Rimmed all the way, nearly all the way in and down. Out of bounds off of Dunbar, they'll say. Looked to me as if maybe Jagger Hutchins had it go off of his fingertips, but that's a fortunate break for Lima Senior. Yeah, I think you're right. It's, it went up for that rebound. It looked like there was two white jerseys there with, a, with no Dunbar player even going to be close to that one, but the official... At a different angle than we did, called that one out. So Lima Senior is fortunate, and they get that one. And truth be told, we're pretty far from the from the action up <laughs> here at the top of the bleachers at Senior High. So he might have a better view of it than we do. Is Jaquel Cotton has it on the right wing, gives to Moore at the high right point. Hutchins takes a bullet pass. Mosley backdoor pass to Moore. Moore triple team. Can't get the shot to go. Rebound comes down to Gaddix. Dunbar. Doesn't have numbers. Big collision in the lane, and a charge goes against Emmanuel Marshall of Dunbar. And I'll tell you what, that is a great play by Mosley. Is he saw that he was coming down the lane fast and hard. That did not deter Mosley as he stepped up quickly, knew that contact was going to be coming. He just took it on the chin and get the turnover. Taking those charges is as much mental as physical, where you got to prepare yourself. To like, you're going to get hit. And to be able to kind of put that out of the back of your mind for your teammates is a skill I don't know that we appreciate enough. I don't need, especially ones like that where, you know, 
you can't brace yourself on that one. You just got to let it come and see what happens. Jumping from Hutchins is good. Lead out to six for senior high on the Web, eight web Insurance Agency scoreboard. He's got seven. Jagger Hutchins, like Jaquel Cotton, like B.J. Hatcher, holds a scholarship offer from Bowling Green State University, so they are hounding the sophomores in the state. Mosley, Mosley gets the handoff, goes straight to the window, and Anthony Mosley gets another one. And senior high wanted to play through him, and you see a little bit more of that here in the second quarter. And yeah, Mosley did a great job there as he rose up to switch hands as he started to go with that right, switch it over to the left, and able to put it in. Jumper from Dunbar dropped home by Hatcher. He's got eight to match Mosley's eight. So we're halfway through this second quarter. 27-21, Lima Senior the lead. Hutchins, contested three, no. Rebounds loose and lands in the hands of Gaddis. Dunbar, quickly up the floor. Hatcher in the lane, off the window. Wanted the hoop and the harm. Instead, he'll shoot two free throws. 3.54 to go here in the second quarter. 27-21, Lima Senior the lead. Dunbar's B.J. Hatcher, the six foot three sophomore guard, averages just under 10 points a contest. We'll step to the least famous recipe free throw line. And that, that call was big because that is now three on Amari Alley, or Mar, excuse me, Amar, Amari Addy, excuse me, as he's going to go back to the bench, and I'd imagine that the freshman is going to sit for the rest of this half. Well, I'm a senior, conceivably out without a starter for the final, nearly final four minutes of the second quarter. As Hatcher hits that free throw as well. So he's got 10 points for Dunbar. He's got 10. Antoine Allen has 10. As a jumper, up and good. Brandon Moore give him seven points on the evening and lead back out to six. Brandon Moore having a nice night here already in this first half. Ball nearly stolen away by Zion Jackson and then a foul committed by the senior. Here to the crowd not liking the call, but it was a good call by the official as Zion was playing good defense. I think he just got a little excited seeing that half-court kind think, of approach and I just wanted to get that extra nudge. thought that foul came on the poke, and it didn't. Once he poked that ball away, uh, Gaddis went to scoop it up, and then Jackson got, you know, basically a two-hand shiver <laughs> into him there. That It was the exact motion that the referee made that he was exactly right, but uh, it was tight defense there from a 5'10 senior. Miss Gaddis at the line, leans into it. James Gaddis Jr. has a free throw. Trims that lead to five with 3.30 to go here in this first half. Jaquel Cotton comes back in the ball game for Lima Senior. Second free throw attempt from Gaddis from the least famous recipe free throw line. He's got two now on the evening. Making him the fifth Dunbar in the scorebook. Dunbar Wolverine in the scorebook, I should say. As Cotton works on the left side. Mosley at the top of the key. Hands off to Isaiah Wilson. Isolated against Gaddis. Errant pass stolen away by Dunbar. Eric Brewer goes straight to the window. Didn't get it. Put back by Antone Allen off the mark. Long pass from Jaquel Cotton. Long. Too long, and we trade turnovers. Just a little bit too much on that pass. Got excited. His teammate was running wide open down the floor. I was trying to get him. But another turnover by Lima Senior. And, and really, that's about the only thing that's been shooting them in the foot tonight. If they would have cut down on some of these turnovers, they could have a much bigger lead right now. 29-25 on the Web Insurance Agency scoreboard. As Eric Brewer Jr. has the basketball. Throws right to B.J. Atcher, the sophomore. Drives to the hoop, off the window, back iron, no. Rebound comes down to Mosley. He'll run the floor for just a moment, the big fella. Wisely gets rid of the basketball to Isaiah Wilson. Two and a half to go. Three from Cotton on the way, yes sir. Nice put up by Cotton that time, no hesitation. Had the space that he wanted. That was a confident three point shot that he was able to put down. Now lead seven at 32 25. Antone Allen, top of the key, working on Hutchins. Left elbow, here's the Gattis, screen from Allen. And Twain Allen, jumper off the mark, long rebound, still loose, grabbed by the Wolverines. 
Bounce pass, back door to Allen. He'll lay it off the window, and that's as easy as Antoine Allen will get. Yeah, that was just unfortunate for Lima Sr. As we almost have the turnover up around midcourt. A couple of Dunbar players were just hanging back and left all alone into the basket. Play point lead for the Spartans. Hutchins. Timeout called My Lima Sr. A Metzger Financial Services timeout. We'll step aside as well. 1.41 to go in the second quarter on WOSN. Timeouts tonight are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. 32-27 to score, 141 to go here in this first half. Lima Senior with the five-point lead in the basketball. Brandon Moore inbounds. As James Gaddis in his face. They try to get it down low to Jaquel Cotton. Out of bounds off of the sophomore. That's a quick turnover by senior high. Yeah, not how you want to come out of a timeout. Good defense by Dunbar that time to force a turnover. Wolverines work around the perimeter. And a foul committed by Anthony Mosley. And now Dunbar shooting two free throws from here on out. And they actually assessed Jagger Hutchins for oh. that foul. So he's actually going to pick up his first. And but that also is going to put Lime Senior in the double bonus. So back at the least famous recipe free throw line are the Wolverines. And the first free throw attempt is up and good. Second free throw attempt upcoming with 90 seconds exactly remaining in the half. Got it to go. Did Ant Anton Allen. So he's got four points all coming from the least famous traffic free throw line tonight. Senior high stuck at 32 for a while here. Wilson bounces to Mosley's short corner near side. Working against Allen. And he traveled with it. Yeah, unfortunately, Mosley was trying to work for position down low. And I don't even think he realized that he took a big step that time when he, uh, once he kind of got himself positioned. Brewer in the lane, a big jam from Anton Allen. His first field goal of the evening. And a slam, and a lead down to one. Mosley in the lane, spins, contact made, rebound, grab, and a great play made by Jaquel Cotton. Cotton just reached and grabbed <laughs> and took that one away from, I don't even know who down there. Good answer by Dunbar. God, man, he just took it, grabbed it, went back up with it for two. B.J. Hatcher, the bucket for Dunbar, give him 12. Lead back down to one for senior high, 34-33 on the Web Insurance Agency scoreboard in the final moments of this first half. Brandon Moore tightly guarded by Gaddis, drives baseline, rises, fires, hits. Nice shot by Moore. A little fade away, almost behind the basket where he was on the baseline, was able to get that one to go. 20 seconds remaining in the half. Looks like Dunbar content to hold for the final shot as Antoine Allen stands right in the center circle, dribbling the basketball. Wolverines trail by three on the Web Insurance Agency scoreboard. Still waiting. Now with five seconds, Gaddis with two. Hatcher has to put up a three off the back iron. And that will do it for the first half of play. A fun one, 36-33. I'm a senior, the lead over Dayton Dunbar on the Web Insurance Agency scoreboard. We'll step aside and come back with third quarter action here between Dayton Dunbar and Lima Senior, the Coach Q Classic here on WOSA. Second half about to get underway. Tonight's scoreboard brought to you by Web Insurance Agency, serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and Bluffton. Dunbar trailing 36-33 as the second half about to get underway. We'll begin with the basketball. It looks like Lima Senior's original starting five on the line on, on the floor. And a ball thrown errantly 
into the hands of Brandon Moore. Two on three on one back the other way. It leaves it off for Isaiah Wilson in an easy bucket for senior high to start the half. Another steal for senior high. Wide open to Mosley off the window. And quick Clay Lima senior goes that lead to 40-33. Mosley with 10. Hatcher, the pass, and the foul committed by Lima Sr. Goes against Mosley, his first, which is really kind of impressive that Mosley played as much as he did in the first half, as physical as he did in the areas that he did, and that's just his first foul. throw attempt up and good. He'll step back to the least famous recipe free throw line. Got that one as well. I believe he is perfect from the charity strike. Addy back at the ball game with three fouls after picking it up with just under four minutes to go in the second quarter. Mosley drives baseline, powers up a shot on the baseline. And he's got 12. Lead out to seven for Lima Senior. Allen, floater in a lane, drops it home. And he's got 16 points right at his average with still nearly half the ballgame to go. Mosley back to the basket, working on Emmanuel Marshall. Turns, faces, spins. Fouled. And Mosley will shoot two. Anthony Mosley, a 52% free throw shooter. Lima Senior, just a 55% free throw shooting team as a whole. And he drops it in. He's at the Lee's Famous Recipe free throw line. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Wapak and Delphus. Call these for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken home style happens here. If I have to say Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken anymore, I might start salivating here. Didn't eat before I came. The thought of Lee's chicken, my goodness. Allen drops in another one, make it 44-37. Go. And you're right, you got to be cognizant of that. Hey, we can't, we can't be, you know, picking up our fourth foul with six and a half minutes to go here in the quarter as Addy goes straight to the window and he's got his first points of the evening. Lima Senior picks up full court after the main basket. 46-40 on the Web Insurance Agency scoreboard. Pass into the open the high post as Mosley collides with it collides with Brewer, and Mosley now has two. Yeah. It looks like Brandon Moore just picked up another foul. So just like that, Moore with three, Abby with three, and Lima Senior with four fouls in the half. With Two, less than two minutes in. Dunbar inbounding underneath their own bucket in an offensive foul there. Everybody in the gym saw as they were trying to get it into Allen. And he had to shove off to create a little room. So he now has three fouls.
Mosley comes out to set the screen for Moore. Create a little bit of room on the right wing. And an offensive foul. Goes against Lima Sr. And so just like that, Mosley's picked up three fouls here. About two minutes and ten seconds into this third quarter. Hill the dish, and a travel committed by Brewer after he got the pass. So a little break in the flow of this game here in this third quarter. 46-40, line of senior to lead. Bounce pass to Amariati on the left wing. Gets a screen to Mosley at the top of the key. Backdoor pass to Brandon Moore, a little too long. Throws it off of a Dunbar Wolverine, and they're able to save it. Hill races up the floor in the lane. Euros nearly swatted from behind. Rebound still loose. Goes to Dunbar. Block charge neither is Anton Allen. Drops it in. And he has eight points. Would have been costly fouls for both sides as well. As it would have been the third on Allen and a fourth on Lima Seniors. Anthony Mosley, pass stolen away by Anton Allen. Lost the handle on it, able to keep it in play as B.J. Hatcher has it. Finds it cutting Antoine Allen, and he'll drop it home. Give him 18 points. Omari added the freshman, walks to the high left point. So we approach the midway point of this third quarter. I'm here at Seawright, joined alongside with Nate Garlock here at Lima Senior. Isaiah Wilson in the lane, hangs and hits. Nine points for Wilson. And a lead back out to four. Tightly guarding. Hatcher is Wilson at the free throw line. I'm not certain what that call is. We got not sure if there's a number three, Jimmy Hill, the fourth subs out. I'm not sure if there's blood there or what the situation was, but they stopped play. There was no foul to get him out. I'm not 100% sure what the call was from the official. Dunbar works against the Lima Senior Zone out of the timeout. 1-3-1 one, one employed by the Spartans. Allen bounces. Cross-court pass to Gaddis at the left wing. Free throw line jumper from Brewer is dropped home. And they trims that lead to two. Yeah. Got the hoop and the horn for Anthony Mosley. 16 points. And on the defensive end there for Lima Senior play in that zone, I think they're probably content with letting Dunbar take jump shots. But then Mosley comes down the other way, powers up a shot. He's got 16 points and is looking for point number 17 at the least famous recipe free throw line. He's got it. Mosley averaging 12.7 points a contest and 10 rebounds, so a double-double on the average. And 17 points so far here this evening. 51-46 on the Web Insurance Agency scoreboard. Three minutes to go in the third quarter. Hatcher thought about the straightaway three. Bounces to Brewer, and he lays one in. Could have been a blocker, a charge call underneath the hoop. Goes for no call. Lead back down to three, so Dunbar hanging around here and answering. Responding every time Lima Sr. grows that lead. Wilson drives the right rail into the far corner to Brandon Moore. Bounces to Mosley in the lane. Lays it off the window and Mosley's got two more. A 
three all the way from Antone Allen is up and good. That's <laughs> right. We, we got a little bit more flow here once the middle of the third quarter got through. Mosley hands off the top of the key to Wilson. Wilson throws right to Allen, or excuse me, to Brandon Moore. Mosley in that far corner, back to Brandon Moore. Looking to get it back to Mosley. Bounces in a short corner in the lane. Turns, leans, fouled. And Anthony Mosley, one more time, is going to go to the least famous recipe free throw line. Head coach Anthony Dixon Jr. for Dunbar pointing to his head saying, use your head, think, you can't pick up your fourth foul. And did, Mosley makes the first. Give him an even 20 on the evening. It's a lead now. Now back out to three at 54-51. As Manuel Marshall will sub in for Allen. As Mosley gonna sub in or excuse me, I was going to sub out on a made free throw here. He drops that one home as well. 21 points for Mosley. Antonio Folly back in for senior high. Wow. Marshall. Cross-court pass, wide open three for Dunbar as Anton Allen threw one up off the back iron, top of the backboard, and out of play. Lucky bounce there for Lima Senior. So Isaiah Wilson will slowly walk the ball across the timeline. Jagger Hutchins back in the ball game for the Spartans. Hands off to Brandon Moore. To Cal Cotton. Back to Wilson. It's a screen from Folly. Wilson to the hoop, throws it at the rim, and it drops. Hatcher off the back iron, rebound grabbed by Cotton. Lob out the head to Jagger Hutchins. Heads up play there by Hutchins. Threw it out of bounds off of Gaddis after he was in the air with the basketball, and it stays with the Spartans. Isaiah Wilson to the hoop, and a foul committed by Dunbar. Their fifth here in the half with one minute and one second remaining on the Web Insurance Agency scoreboard. So Isaiah Wilson will shoot two after the foul committed by Emmanuel Marshall. And Marshall subbed in for Antoine Allen, who now they both have four fouls. Zion Jackson in the game for Lima Senior. Second free throw attempt from Wilson off the back iron. Rebound pulled down by Dunbar. So we'll see 58-51. Under a minute to go now here in this third quarter. Hatcher with the basketball. Gives to Deviante Williams. Finds a wide open Brewer back door, lays it off the window and down. Brewer's got 10 points. <laughs> 35 seconds, now 30 seconds to go here in this third quarter. Spartans with a five-point advantage, and Isaiah Wilson with the basketball left of the center circle. 20 seconds on the clock. We'll dribble it back out, being tightly guarded by the Dunbar Wolverine, Deontay Williams. Ten seconds on the clock. Screen from Hutchins. Wilson, Euros, throws it up and in. On the Web Insurance Agency scoreboard after 3 60 53, Spartans lead here on WOSN.
fourth quarter about to get underway. Tonight's scoreboard brought to you by Web Insurance Agency, serving Lima and Allen County. More than 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and Bluffton. Spartans, 24 points there in the third quarter. 20 for Dunbar. Gives them a seven-point advantage. And Anthony Mosley, a big third quarter there for senior Heine. Yeah, absolutely. He had 13 points in that quarter. Really led all, everything. We saw him going down low. He got most of those points from right in front of the basket as he was able just to kind of enforce his will down low and really helped Lime Senior hold on to this lead. Moore straight to the window and drops it home. Brandon Moore with 11 points after the great pass from Hutchins. Brandon Moore, we've seen what he can do in that first half. Had a couple of highlight-type plays. So long, so athletic. Was able to get a nice start that time with the basketball and finish at the rim. And Twain Allen with four fouls back in the ball game. As Wolverines need him on the floor, trailing by nine. To the window, off the window. Thrown back off the rim and grabbed by Lima Senior. Back in transition, cross-court pass to a wide-open Cotton for three. Bang! And that was a great pass. Normally you talk about skip passes going the length or the width of the floor. You know, not always a great idea, but Cotton did a great job of catching that ball, already having his feet set, and got a great shot off for three. Now Cotton called for the foul after he pokes the ball out of bounds. Will be his first foul. For the 6'5 sophomore, not by any stretch of the imagination in any foul trouble. Nope, they'll call it actually on Hutchins. His second, and still not uh, under any foul trouble. So the official just puts the ball on the floor, starts counting. The inbound to Allen, fouled on the shot, goes against Brandon Moore, and Antoine Allen will shoot two free throws. Brandon Moore now with four fouls. Or I'll shoot one and one, I guess. Uh, that, that, that should be shooting. I mean, he was fouled on a shot. And you see the officials getting together to talk about it. So, yeah, shooting two. Shooting two. Two shots. Allen with 18 points on the evening. Seventy-three percent free throw shooter. Drops in the first. Zion Jackson steps out as Amari Addy, the freshman, back at the ball game for the Spartans. As Allen steps back to the free throw line, looking to trim the lead back to 10. It's the largest lead of the night so far for Lima Senior at 12. He trimmed it to 11, and now has it to 10. Seven minutes remain on the Web Insur Insurance Agency scoreboard. Dunbar picks up full court. Addy. Bounces to Moore in the backcourt. Tries to sprint through the press. Kicked it, no call. Ball's loose. Still loose in the backcourt, frontcourt, depending on who you're rooting for. And Dunbar will pass it up across the timeline. Moore late to get back. Foul, or no foul, excuse me. As Allen drops it home. Give him two more, hit his head on the wall. Three on the way from Jaquel Cotton. No, offensive rebound by Addy. The smallest guy on the floor, put back, no. And things will slow down momentarily, but you're still moving pretty quick. Allen Euros, teardrop floater, no. Offensive rebound, loose, out of bounds. Off of the Wolverines, and will go to Lima Senior. And we finally have an official whistle, so everybody gets and, to take a break and take well, a breath. And Antoine Allen, even after um, probably, you know, 45 seconds of real time and still, you know, reaching the back of his head, checking, you know, am I bleeding? Because he hit, you know, the concrete wall at the back of his head. I'm sure that felt great. And Brandon Moore also banged up yeah. in that exchange, grabbing that elbow. These teams are really getting after it here as this game comes close to an end. Jacker Hutchins at the top of the key. Gives to Moore. Sets the screen. Moore, high post floater. No, rebound comes down to B.J. Hatcher. Up the near sideline. Top of the key. Scoop shot from the right block is up and good. Hatcher with 14. And the lead back down to six. Dunbar continues to hang around. Moore back to the basket in the near corner. It's back to Addy. Walks inside the center circle. 
Surveys defense, tells Moore to come here. Throws it to the left. Hutchins doesn't set the screen. Moore goes to the window. Fouled on the shot. Brandon Moore shooting two. Saw Moore that time use Hutchins as a distraction. Defender thought he was going to be using that screen, so he had some space as he went around and was trying to go baseline. Contact comes, not able to get it to go down. So Moore with a six-point advantage. And 11 points on the lead, or on the Women Insurance Agency scoreboard. Steps back to the Lee's Famous Recipe free throw line. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Wapak and Delphus. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken home style happens here. Dunbar making a substitution as Antoine Allen. Four fouls. Taking a seat for a brief moment. As the 50% free throw shooter, Brandon Moore, makes the first. 12 points on the evening, averages 15.7 to lead the Spartans here in the early going. And Brandon Moore missed the second, keeping it at a seven point ball game. It's on Allen, throws to Hatcher at the high left point. To the left wing, stripped, nearly poked away. Hatcher working on Addy. Gives to Hill at the high right point with five minutes to go in the game. Dunbar trailing by seven. Ball stolen away by Moore. And unfortunately for him, goes out of bounds and it goes back to Dunbar. Great anticipation by Moore that time as he took a peek over his right shoulder and saw the Dunbar player coming up. So he anticipated that pass coming that way. And with that length and wingspan that he has, was able to get out, poke that one away, just not able to gather it in before it went out of bounds. Under five minutes to go on the Web Insurance Agency scoreboard, and then a turnover by Dunbar. The pass from Hatcher to the left wing to Brewer through his hands and out of play. And that was just another case of Brewer trying to get going before he had the basketball in his hands. He turned his head to see where he wanted to go with it. Went off his fingertips, and another turnover for Dunbar. Isaiah Wilson hands off to Moore, or excuse me, Cotton. Zion Jackson, Addy, looks. It's a screen from Hutchins. To the top of the key between the circles. Four and a half to go. 66-59. Lima Senior the lead. Addy walks it back out. Content to run some clock here. Right at the center circle. Hutchins the high ball screen. Addy trying to get them to switch off. Instead now Dunbar will switch. It's Jimmy Hill the 5'10 guard. Now working against Amari Addy the 5'11 freshman. Addy picks up the dribble to Wilson. In the far corner to Jackson, back to Wilson. Isaiah Wilson dribbles around that Dunbar D and bounces to Addy. Spartans have taken nearly a minute off the clock with this possession. Leading by seven, don't mind it. Now the Lima Senior is just showing great patience right now. You saw Mari Addy did a nice job recognizing when the help is going to be coming on the defense, be able to get rid of it quickly to stay out of trouble. Instead of trying to force something up, Lima Senior just able to dribble through to open space. And now Addy at the end of it gets the hand one. Amari Addy hasn't had one of his best games. But right there, big basket for Addy. He dribbled the basketball for about a minute and 15 seconds and then found himself in a bad spot in that far corner and then said, oh, wait a second, I can just go to the hoop. Jump stops in the lane, lays it off the window, grows the lead to nine, can get it to 10 with the and one. What a play by the freshman. One just dribbling for about a minute straight, keeping the ball alive, and then getting to the hoop. And he doesn't convert the old-fashioned three-point play. Heck of an effort, though, by the freshman. It's a nine-point lead for Lima Senior with three and a half to go. Anton Allen in the lane, fouled on the shot, and the 6'4 senior will go to the line and try to score with the clock stop. Jagger Hutchins picks up his third foul, and that might be the first foul, though, that he actually earned yeah, tonight. Yeah, true. I'm not sure that the other two, that uh, one I'm certain was against Jaquel Cotton, where Cotton poked the ball out of bounds, and I think Jagger Hutchins was you know, standing there watching the paint dry and got called for the foul. Another one, Mosley, probably should have been assessed the foul as the free throw from Allen is up and good. Give him 12 points. It's Anthony Mosley subs in for Hutchins, and Brandon Moore comes in for Zion Jackson for senior high. 
But Anton Allen with 12 points, averages 11.8, so he's reached his season average here. As the Dunbar Wolverines won eight in a row in danger of dropping their first one since the season opener. And he makes that one as well. And that's your financial services timeout called by Dunbar. We'll step aside as well. 68-61, 3.20 to go here in the fourth quarter. WOSN. Out of the timeout, tonight's timeouts are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. 3.20 to go. Spartans with a seven-point lead in the basketball. Running about a minute off the clock, the last possession. Brandon Moore, long pass to Isaiah Wilson. Up in that far corner. Amari Addy left the center circle. Bounces to Moore, tightly pressured by Hatcher. Gives to Jaquel Cotton, back to Moore. Surveys and a miscommunication there by the Spartans results in a turnover. I'm not quite sure what happened there with Brandon Moore as it looked like Wilson had no idea that that ball would be coming his direction. Hatcher in the lane. And a foul. And that is going to go against Mosley, I believe. Nope, it goes to Isaiah Wilson. And Wilson was down there uh, with Mosley as well. So fortunately for Lima Senior, Anthony Mosley not picking up his fourth, fourth foul. Hatcher back at the free throw line. The Lee's Famous Recipe free throw line. Lee's Famous Recipe chicken in Wapak and Delphus. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe chicken home style happens here. Hatcher converts the old-fashioned three-point play. Addy along the near sideline. Now 2.45 to go. 68-64, it's still a tight one here. And in conclusion, the Coach Q Classic. Addy trying to direct Moore out of the way. Bounces to Wilson on the right wing. Mosley, top of the key, hasn't shot a three all year, didn't let one fly there either. Addy back with the basketball at the high left point, throws right. Gives to Moore. Mosley, back at the top of the key once more. Lima Senior, continuing to work the basketball. Moore, the pass on the left block. Dribbled it off his foot. Saved by Wilson, but he threw it back into play to Eric Brewer, and then a barrel through Brewer to pick up his third foul. And, and Moore, last couple of trips down the floor, just having some hard luck. We saw the pass go out of bounds. That time just dribbled it off his foot. We saw Wilson trying to hustle, save that one, but then when it was all said and done, just couldn't catch himself for it. He just ran right through Brewer. So exactly two minutes to go. But now that that's the tenth foul for the Spartans. Eric Brewer, who was holding his elbow after hitting the deck on that one, will shoot two. Trims the lead to three. Brewer now with 11 on the evening. Really, free throws have been a big help here for Dunbar. I uh, can't count how many they have hit, but they have shot the free throw nicely to keep them in it, and they got that one as well. Another Metzger Financial Services timeout will step aside as well. 68-66, two minutes to go here on WOSN. Sixty-six tonight's scoreboard brought to you by Web Insurance Agency, serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and Bluffton. Every time Lima Senior has grown that lead or got it out, they've led by as many as 12. Dunbar's just sort of hung around, Nate. They've never let themselves, uh, you know, their body language has been great the whole time. They haven't hung their heads or anything like that. They've just played tight basketball the entire second half here. Yeah, it's definitely been a back and forth game. Each team has had their runs. And I think at this point, it's going to look like what team can finish with the who gets the last run is going to be the one that takes home this victory tonight. Anthony Mosley would like it to be the Spartans. He's got 23 points after that offensive rebound and putback. Lead to four for the Spartans. His Hatcher, the sophomore, works against Wilson. At the top of the key, rises, fires, and splashes home a three. P.J. Hatcher with a huge three-pointer that time. You know, Hatcher, just a sophomore, showing the poise of a senior. Lima Senior 
Leading by one, 70-69 with 1.20 to go. Amariani, the freshman with the basketball, a Metzger Financial Services timeout called by Coach Quincy Simpson for the Lima Senior Spartans. And we'll step aside as well, 1.17 to go in the fourth here on WOSN. Out of the timeout, tonight's timeouts are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. Spartans lead by one, 70-69 with just over a minute to go in tonight's conclusion of the Coach Q Classic. Backdoor pass to Brandon Moore is up and good. And it's a three-point lead. Moore's got 14. Brandon Moore did a nice job moving up the basketball. able to get that back door. It's Wilson almost able to poke that one away. Fortunately, only going to be the second foul on him. And I clearly have missed two, as that is no, his no. Um, Eric Brewer has two. He wears number five for Dunbar, unless you're on your scorebook there. Uh, Brewer has two, and now Wilson has four. four. Yep, I was looking at the wrong number five. So Hatcher, now with 21 points on the main free throw from the least famous recipe free throw line, as... Jaquel Cotton subs out. Jagger Hutchins back in, the six foot seven sophomore. Gives a little size and three point shooting ability as the second free throw from Hatcher is up and good. From 22. So very unofficial stats. Just <laughs> preference the next bit by saying that. But here in the second half, Dunbar has not missed a free throw. Wow. That's important as a timeout. A Metzger Financial Services timeout called by Lima Senior, leading 47, or excuse me, 72-71 with 40 seconds to go. We'll keep it here with 47.6. Anthony Mosley, 23 points to lead all scorers here tonight. Uh, had a big third quarter there, and now Lima Senior, you're kind of in somewhat no man's land. If there's 47 seconds left, there's not enough time to, you know, hey, Dunbar's not going to let you dribble out for the last shot or, or just make you, they're going to make you come out and foul you. But you're in full on. We got to make sure we got the right guy that we want to have the basketball, the free throw shooter that we want. And as a team, a Lima senior just shoots 55% from the free throw line. And you mentioned Dunbar 100% here in the second half. Yeah, and you know, if you're, so if you're looking at who, if you're Dunbar, you'd want to avoid sending to the line. That's going to be Anthony Mosley. He is perfect from the line here so far tonight, has not missed a free throw. The rest of the team has struggled mightily from the free throw line. However, you know, you said, you know, we want to make sure we get the ball in the right person's hands and, and all of those things. The fortunate thing if you're Lima Senior is you have multiple people that you could end up with it and feel comfortable taking that shot. Tonight, they have four players in double figures. They have a lot of playmakers. They have a lot of guys that can do that. So what it does do is it prevents Dunbar from keying on one person and trying to take that one person out of it because there's other people who could easily fill that spot. Spartans 2-0 on the season so far when they score more than 70 points, and they're at 72 right now on the Web Insurance Agency scoreboard. As Brandon Moore waits to trigger it in, lobs it in the backcourt to Amari Addy. The freshman goes and gets it. Clock is running with 45 seconds to go, a one-point lead for the Spartans. Addy crosses the timeline, bounces to Moore on the right wing. Looking for Mosley instead, gets to Hutchins at the top of the key, back to Addy. And he'll content, content to run some clock. Addy triple team, top of the key to Mosley. Trying to leave it off for Moore, and it's stolen away by Dunbar. Hot catcher at the free throw line, jump stop to Allen. Hangs, and the ball is stuck. <laughs> with 20 seconds to go. Jump ball points towards Dunbar. <laughs> My goodness, at one of the pivotal moments of the game, the ball gets stuck. Yeah, a bad shot in a tough position from the floor, but somehow it still works out in Dunbar's favor. So they're going to keep this possession after the timeout. A Metzger Financial Services timeout called by Dunbar will step aside as well. 20 seconds remain. Spartans lead by one here on WOSN. Seventy two seventy one senior high the lead on the web insurance agency scoreboard web insurance agency serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and Bluffton Dunbar keeps possession after the wedgie the possession arrow points towards them so they'll inbound underneath their own bucket trailing by one bounce it into Allen turnaround jumper off the back iron no 
Offensive or defensive rebound grabbed by Addy. 15 seconds long pass out to Moore. Moore fouled. And a big defensive stop there for Senior High. And it was a great job by Lima Senior to get that one out. Dribble through some trouble to make sure that they ate some very important time off of that clock. So 72-71, Brandon Moore will step to the line. 50% free throw shooter coming into this evening. Less than 11 seconds remain. As the six foot three senior averages 15, looking for point number 15. Here in the waning moments of this basketball game, and he got it. That is a big free throw for Brandon Moore. He has been excellent at times tonight, and other times, you know, it doesn't seem to be uh, quite on the same page with some of his teammates. He's made some mistakes tonight, but when it mattered most, able to come up with a big free throw and a chance to make this what still would be a just a two-point game. But Mosley, Mosley, the offensive rebound, the long rebound. Moore will step back to the least famous recipe free throw line after missing the second, but Mosley, alert, comes and chases the long board and gives Moore two more shots at it. And now, if Moore is able to convert on both of these, he can make this a two-possession game with just seven seconds left to go. So 7.3 on the Web Insurance Agency scoreboard as Moore hit the first one, missed the second. Left that one short. And Dunbar can win with a three. Hill, Euros, fouled, and with less than a second to go, Jimmy Hill, the fourth, will shoot two free throws. Hill did a nice job. It was a great decision. They left him all alone. He had a lane. It was one of those ones where it was, I'll get the contact, go to the free throw line. Maybe I can get it to go for the end one. But either way, now Jimmy Hill going to the free throw line to see if he can tie this game up. Jimmy half, half a second left, and I mean, you know, not a lot of time, but Lima Senior still would have a chance to get a catch or a, at least a catch and shoot off. You don't want to come to the ground <laughs> probably with it, but still some decisions to make, and I believe we're going to have a timeout. A Metzger Financial Services timeout called by Lima Senior. It's a 30-second timeout. We'll keep it here. Jimmy Hill IV is a 5'10 junior guard who has not scored this evening. Two points for Dunbar would tie it up and send us to an extra period. No pressure on the 5'10 junior, but Quincy Simpson giving him a little bit more time to think about it here with the 30-second timeout. He's got one more in his pocket, by the way. So you're right, with under a second to go, Lima Senior conceivably, if Hill hits both, can get a shot off but he's got to hit them both or miss the second, get a tip. But it's going to be a tight one here to the finish on the Web Insurance Agency scoreboard is Jimmy Hill the fourth needs to hit two free throws at 73-71. The 5'10 junior takes the deep breath and made it too strong on the first. So now he's got to hit the rim. Get a tip here to try to tie, and Quincy Simpson will take one more timeout, so we'll keep it here. Under half a second to go, and Dunbar has, gets time to discuss how they're going to try to get a tip and tie it up at 73. Yeah, their first missed free throw in the last three quarters. Oh, my goodness. And, you know, you could tell in that one, too. That was one of those ones where he's probably telling himself, don't leave it short, don't leave it short, don't leave it short. Ends up putting a little extra on it, and it hits off the back of the iron. Coach Simpson wants to take this time out just to remind his team, you know, he's obviously going to miss this one on purpose. Right. At least uh, try to get it off. They won't try to get the tip in, so make sure everybody's marked. Make sure right. that we don't get a hand on it. Don't commit a lane violation. No tip fouls. it out. <laughs> don't foul. All of those things. It's basically a refresher course, but the Dunbar Wolverines got to miss it and got to get a tip. Because now they'll trade a couple of spots. B.J. Hatcher, the 6'3 sophomore, they line up on the lane. Hill missed it. Tip is up. No good. And senior high hangs on for a 73-71 victory over Dunbar. You know, a lot of for a lot of this season for Lima Senior, it's going to be learning experiences. They are a very young team. They have a lot of guys that they come in. You know, we mentioned the amount of sophomores they have on there. They start a freshman. There's going to be some growing pains. There's going to be a lot of lessons learned. 
tonight was one of those nights. It wasn't yeah. always pretty, but they no. got it when they needed it. They worked through those uh, trials and tribulations, and at the end of the day, comes away with the victory. So they led by as many as 12 and hang on for a two-point victory where Dunbar had two free throws. Trailing by two with under half a second, they miss them both. And the Spartans win to move to 3-1, and one, handing Dunbar their first loss since the season opener. So Lima Sr., 3-1, and one, and Dunbar drops to 8-2. and two. That'll do oh, – no. No, I was just going to say one of the – just congratulations, Lima Sr., a big win for them. Dunbar, you know – we, Dunbar looks like they're oh, on the way back up. Excellent teams. Dunbar playing their third game in a row. They played Friday night away. They played last night here, and then they played a game. Three straight away games, back to back to back, and they were able to, you know, I think right. we saw that at different times tonight, and they were still able to make this one a game. So a great game. Hats off to Dunbar. Lima Senior, though, with a big victory. Fun high school basketball game tonight here at Lima Senior for our fantastic WOSN crew, Jacob O'Neill and... Uh, crew here at Lima Senior. We will step aside and we'll see you next time. For Nate Garlock, I'm Garrett Seawright saying so long. And we'll see you next time right here on WOS.